What's up guys, it's Joel from GSG Games This Game come to you with a Destiny video strategy guide on all the dead ghost locations on Mars. Just a heads up, I'm going to start this video off by patrolling Mars, aka the free realm. From the starting point of the drop off, hop on your sparrow and stay to the right. Follow this path all the way down until you reach that tree. When you do, you want to slightly veer to the left. There's a path you can stay on and that is going to lead you to a dome structure. And the Cabal and the Vex will be outside in a heated firefight. You want to sneak inside this dome from the left. Follow that all the way back until you enter the actual dome structure. Look to the left and on a small container is going to be your dead ghost. To get to the Scablands, you want to head to the right when you're in the Barrens. Stay to the right and you'll follow a path that will lead you to the Scablands. So when you get to the Scablands, look to the right and you're going to see this base over here. You want to go all the way to the back and there's an underpass. You want to go underneath that. And once you do, you want to look to the left. And you can climb back up these platforms on the wall and the dead ghost is sitting up there. The next ghost is going to be in Firebase Rubicon, so right after you collect this ghost, you want to turn around and there's a path that continues and that's going to take you to Firebase Rubicon. From the Scablands to Firebase Rubicon, you want to continue down this path, you really can't miss the area. Hop up on the top and you're going to look to the left and there's going to be a small cave entrance that you can take. Now if you notice I look at the large opening that leads to the iron line. So you want to head up this path and right by that tree is going to be your dead ghost. To reach the hollows, you want to head back to the barrens and stay to the left. That's going to lead you down a path that reaches to the hollows. Now, this is right when you enter the hollows. You see this large dome structure with Clovis Bay CB on the front of it. You're going to use this container over here to jump up to the top and on that catwalk. Once you reach the top, head to the front of the dome and you're going to see this dead ghost. From the hollows, inside that dome structure where we got the last ghost, you want to head to the back. This is going to lead you to the dust palace and that's where the next dead ghost is at. Once you enter the large room with windows, you want to head to the stairs in the back. Once you reach the top of the stairs, you want to head to the left. Go all the way to the back, you're going to see that box over there. Hop on top of that box and use that as the jumping platform to jump onto this ledge to the left of you. And you want to jump on that ledge, once you get up there, just continue jumping all the way to the center and you are going to find your dead ghost. From the dust pass, you want to continue following the path and that's going to lead you to overwatch.
Once you head to the large room in the overwatch, you want to follow the path to the back up the stairs and you're going to climb another flight of stairs and then you're going to reach an office room. Head up those stairs and look to the left. And you're going to see two desks over there and the desk on the left, kitty corner, is going to be the dead ghost. Hidden very well. At this point, I would recommend going to orbit and coming back in in patrol mode. From the hollows, you want to head towards the back and that will lead you to the buried city. Here you're going to see that awful transit building. You want to head to the left hand side and I actually use this hill to make this jump. Um, you can use some of the platforms that are around to do this as well. Um, you're getting on the rooftop of the awful transit building and back by the sign behind it is going to be a dead ghost. From Buried City, we're going to enter into Freehold Station. Once you get inside, you're going to follow the path until you enter a large room where it is pitch black. When you get inside the large room, head to the right and follow the path. You're going to head to the right again and go up the stairs. Once you get up there, you're going to see a platform that you can jump on top of. Get on top of that, look to the left, and up on that TV monitor is the dead ghost. And a little further up from Freehold Station is Starsis Junction. You want to head to the back past these train cars and past the tracks. Hang a right and follow the path to the back. You're going to walk through this doorway and once you do you want to go to the right. And up against a fence near a rock is going to be the dead ghost. Now you want to head back out to the buried city and I'm facing the front of the awful transit building. From there you want to head to the left and there's going to be a path that leads up to the area called the drift. Go around this building and there's going to be a larger ledge to the left. You want to follow this path uphill. And once you reach that dead tree at the end, you're going to see that dead ghost on one of the branches. Now you're going to want to load up that level 18 strike and you're going to reach this large room with all the cabal in here. There's also a gold chest in this room and it's quite close to where we're going. So you're going to head up to this platform on the left and you want to make a jump up. Jump onto these pipes and then jump up on the walkway above. Now this is where it gets tricky. You want to look out to the right and you're going to see that small little platform. You want to jump to that. Then look up and to the left. Now be careful for these wires. These wires make this jump difficult. You want to jump up to that platform. Once you make it up to there, you want to look to the right and you're going to see the dead ghost on that little crag.
right after you come out of the iron line into the trench works you want to head to the right past the outpost and follow this path right here you're gonna jump up on this uh, rock ledge right here and in between the wall and a little crack in the rock is gonna be that dead ghost Level 16 story, the Garden Spire. We're at the end of the mission. You want to head all the way to the back. You're going to clear out a lot of Cabal. Head towards this mountain. And you're going to go to the path on the left. Once you reach the top of this path, you want to go to the right. And you can see that you can go underneath uh, the walkway. And look to the left and you're going to find a dead ghost. To get the rest of these dead ghosts, you want to load up the Black Garden level 18 story mission. And this is going to navigate you all the way through everything. So we're in Giant's Pass right now. And we're going to head past the area where we had a big blowout with the Cabal earlier. And uh, keep following the path, but stop right after this mountainside. And there's a path going up here to the right. Head up this path and there's going to be a tree. And look by the roots on the back side of this tree for the dead ghost. Once you reach the Valley of the Kings, you want to hop on your sparrow. Follow this path in the center going through this uh, mountainside. And you're going to come across a cliff. Once you reach that cliff, you want to hop off your sparrow and follow the cliff on the edge. And you're going to see that dead ghost. From the beginning of the Valley of Kings, again, hop on your spare. This time you're going to head to the right. You're going to see an outpost. You want to head towards that outpost. Once you get there, you want to hop on the mountain, climb up to the outpost, and then jump on the roof. Once you reach the roof, you're going to see a ledge out in front of you. You want to jump to that ledge. And once you get to this ledge, you want to drop off to the lower ledge, and there's going to be a ghost tucked away in the corner. Immediately after entering the Black Garden, you're in the upper area. You're going to look to the left, and you will see that mountainside that you can climb on. Now you're going to make a succession of jumps. And this is going to allow you to reach a dead ghost. And further down in the Black Garden, you're going to be notified that you've entered the darkness. And once that happens, you want to head towards the light. Once you reach the top of the stairs, you want to head to the right and follow the path. And you're going to see the cliffside. And just follow along the edge of the area and you will come across some small pillars. Follow that all the way down and you're going to find an area that you can drop off. Once you drop off, look to the right and you'll find your final dead ghost. Pay attention, son. This is the part of the story that's really important. Now, this is the law of the jungle. As old and as true as the sky. 
The wolf that shall keep it may prosper, but the wolf that shall break it must die. As the creeper that girdles the tree trunk, the law runneth forward and back. For the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the